all. Welcome back to Imagination to Scene, or ITS for short. I think I'm going to just start saying ITS. Um, today is going to be the second installment of the first build arc, which I'm not telling you guys what it is yet, what the scene is going to be. I'm going to leave you guys to kind of guess it, have a little fun with that. Um, anyway, today we are opening two more fashion packs. These are actually going to be the Barbie Courier Packs. Yes, one, if not both, are going to be used in the scene, possibly. Well, one of them for sure. Um, and for, the, for those of you for the last episode, I am going to give you guys a hint. It's going to be Tucker. That's going to be, Tucker's outfit is going to be used in the scene. So, and he was dressed in scrubs someone of the medical profession, doctor, nurse, no, ENTs actually have a uniform. Anyway, someone of the medical profession. So this is going to be used in the scene. So let's go ahead and get started with opening these. Um, and what I've noticed is they come with accessories. This is, looks like a chef outfit with a pot, and this is a musician with a guitar but neither one of them come with shoes. And even though I would love it if we just didn't wear shoes most of the time, to be more realistic, the dolls will have shoes on. So let me get some shoes real quick to go with. Well, we're gonna be using Faye, and she's gonna be our musician. And I think her shoes will work just fine. So all we need really is Darby. Say hello, Darby. Hi, all. She's going to be our chef, and she will need some shoes. So give me one moment while I grab some shoes. If anybody's wondering if I have shoes, yes, I have shoes. I have lots of shoes. I just want a simple pair of tennis shoes. There we go. We're just going to grab a couple of pair of white tennis shoes. And yes again, Barbie shoes. All of these are Barbie shoes. Ken shoes have their own drawer. All right, let's start with opening. Let's open something. So we're gonna start with Faye's outfit, which is the musician. Once again, those little, anybody know what these things are called? Hopefully the cat didn't see that. What those little plastic thingies are can you leave a comment in below, educate me a little bit? What are those called? Other than those annoying pieces of plastic thingies. All right, what do we have on the back? We have one, two, three, four, looks like. Difficult to get. Oh, cool. Okay. The guitar has a little um, slingy. What are these called? Straps. cardboard here. It's starting to get full. We're going to have to empty that soon. We have this really cute little pink lavender gingham dress with some blue and green flowers on it. Slip off those shoes. Hello Faith. Give me a moment. Now, 
Faye is a petite doll. I think she's on the larger side of the petites. I think it's all down in the leg area around the hips. So we'll see how this fashion fits on her. Not bad, not bad. It's not a tight fit, it's a little loose right here. But it doesn't look too bad. Those shoes back on, she does have some cute shoes. She starts with cute boots and goes right into the cute shoes. Envy. All right, actually doesn't look bad with her hair. Here she goes. So are you right-handed or left-handed? Let's make you right-handed, simply because of your hair. Oh, my, that, that's a lot of extra plastic there, but that's okay. There we go. There is Faye. And a stand. I have never had any luck with getting the dolls, the Barbie dolls, to stand on their own. The Ken dolls, I, get, I occasionally get lucky and they will stand. But the Barbies, never. All right, Faye, rocking it out a little bit right there. Ooh. She's never going to be as good as Roy Clark, but at least she's there. Go, Faye, go. So we'll put that aside. And now it's Darby's turn again. These plastic thingy the jiggies until I find out what they're really called. about the, the larger girls is their feet seem a little bit bigger sometimes. I will find I have problems with some of the shoes. Oh, okay. So we've got the pot. And it's got the, um, for any of you who work with the Barbie play sets, like the kitchens, the tables, anything like that, they started putting in, or they have been putting in, the little notches at the bottom of some of their accessories, like their, their plates and all that, that you can fit down into the table so it doesn't move. Well, this pot has got one of those. So that's good to know. one more. It's right here. Uh, cardboard. Oh my. There's a couple little pieces here. One moment, folks. Clean this up a little bit. Okay. These are a legging type. These are a stretchy you know what? You feel them and you think they're stretchy, but they're really not. This is just painted, printed on. And a little bit of modesty for Darby. Thank you, Darby. Oops. Now she is one of the larger type body types. And sometimes we do have a little bit of difficulty getting the clothes on them. But we'll see what we can do. Point the toes. Uh oh. I lost the there they are. They're stuck on her knees. That's not good. There we go. Little tight tight fit. These I'm not gonna lie, this is a tight fit. Okay, okay, we're good. We're getting there. 
there we go. Woo! She's in them. Now for the top. So hopefully the top is a little bit easier to handle. Now I do know the trick, and I have heard of the trick of being able to take off their hands so that you can get the, the tops on the dolls a little faster and then you put their hands back in. I've never had luck with that. Um, and I, I don't want to, I don't want to break a doll or ruin a doll. I, I have, I've done head swaps, they're not fun. I don't want to have to do a head swap just because I messed up on something. So I'm a little more cautious when I'm dressing the dolls or, or trying something new. I err in the side of protect the doll. All right, she is dressed. I have a bad feeling about these shoes. Yeah, yeah, they're not, they're not gonna fit. But they'll do for now. Sorry, Darb. It's for the aesthetics, Darb. Take one for the team. Thanks, Darb. Here is her stand. Just don't look behind her. She looks great. Yeah. And there is Darb, all dressed up as my new chef. Can you hold the pan? Is that even an option? I don't know if it is. No, not, no, not really. We'll fake it somehow. There we go. All right, we now have a chef. We have a musician. We have Tuck. And we're one episode closer, one installment closer, to what this overall build could possibly be. And if you guys are going to say something to do with, oh, it's their careers, eh, not yet. Not really. Something completely different, so keep guessing. Until next time, guys. I'll see you later. Bye! Bye!